Hey guys, so as you saw from the title, I'm continuing to show you what these new shades of the e.l.f. Pout Clout Lipping Pens look like. Today we're doing Red My Mind, and I'm also going to be uh, sharing another Maybelline Shadow Blocks with you. And this one is called North Third and Bedford Ave, and it's a very neutral um, I look, it's a, a gold and a brown. Well, let me just show you. You get an off white or a pale gold, and then you get a shimmery gold, and you get a shimmery brown. So I thought that would look nice with the the red lip. Um, I used a fingernail file to open those because I don't want to chip my nails. I painted my nails Saturday night. Today is Tuesday, I think. Yes. <laughs> and um, my nails aren't chipped yet, so the top coat and the nail polish that I bought at Walmart by Nails Inc. is working out great so far because, you know, usually things don't last that long. But this is working out great. All right, let's get started with the makeup and we can chit chat as we go along. I'm going to use my Hard Candy Gloss Topia Lip Repair Oil in Crystal Clarity because I am trying to use this up. And I'm not trying to use it up because I don't like it. I'm trying to use it up because the container leaks and um, I don't like having to keep it on the shelf, um, you know, upright. I would, I want to be able to just use what I want to use. I don't want to be forced to having put things over here. I want the things that are over here to be because I want them to be like the top coat and the new polishes I got from Nails Inc. For example, mm, my lips have been so dry lately. I did stop drinking that tea, so it's been over 24 hours now. Um, but, of course, we're going in with the NYX Pro Fix Stick in the shade pink first. But I have some new brushes to show you. I was at Dollar Tree yesterday, and I got the Valentine's Day ones that they have. These are by Sassy and Chic, which is a dollar store brand's but how cute is that they're pink and then they have um fake i'm sure that's plastic in there i hope it is isn't real sprinkles but how cute are those so i washed them when i got home so that i could use them today and they're they're very very soft but we're gonna try them out and see if we can get away with using those So my neck is a little less red than it was yesterday. So I'm hoping that I'm on the right track with giving up the clove powder. Um, you know what? I think to start off with, I'm going to use my trusty AOA Studio High Def Brush in F3, which is from shopmissa.com. Because I need something firm to blend this corrector slash concealer in. Yeah, I don't feel like I need it as much today, so I think I might be on the right track with uh, getting rid of the clove powder, which is too bad because I do really love the flavor, but if I'm getting an allergic reaction, it's not worth it, right? Okay, so that is all set. And then um, let's do primer next. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm probably going to use this every day until it's gone because it's getting up there in age. And I have a backup not even open. So I want to use this one up. And I'm going to continue to use this brush just for now. And we'll try it out 
with um, some of the other products that I'm going to use, but I want to make sure this is blended in good. So I have an idea for a video coming up in the future. I'm not sure what day I'm going to film it. Um, I have an appointment to have somebody look at my car later this week. And so I won't be able to film in the morning like I always do because I'm probably going to be at the garage for a good chunk of the day. Um, so I'm probably going to have to film later in the day that day. And so because I'm already going to have my makeup on, I think I'm going to do like a topic type video instead of a get ready with me of something that I really want to talk to you guys about. Um... I'm going to do a video about makeup pricing, how makeup prices are really crazy depending on what you're buying, and setting limits and budgeting. Because I have spent so much money on makeup in the last few months, and I need to reel it in a bit. So what I'm going to do is... um you know what, I'll, I better save it for the video, otherwise there'll be no point in making the video, right? All right, so primer is on, so next is going to be concealer. So let's put a little bit of this same NYX corrector under my eyes. Let's put some, what is left on my eyes. And for concealer today, we're going to use LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer in the shade Fair. And, you know, I'm continuing to switch up every day what I use for concealers and foundations and just to, you know, give you some different things to look at. So this has a brush applicator, which is kind of nice. All right, let's try out this uh, new brush. It's quite soft, so I don't know how well it's going to blend, but... It should be good enough for concealer, right? But yeah, these brushes are so cute. I could not resist. They're in the Valentine's display at Dollar Tree, in case I didn't remember to say that. Okay, that worked all right for that. And I'm going to use LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. And I have the shade Natural. And I haven't used this in a while, so it needs to be shaken a bit. If you have a foundation that, you know, has been sitting around, make sure you shake it up. And this has a pump, which is nice. So let's take one pump. And work it into the brush. Oh, this is a really good match for me, color-wise. Isn't it? Wow. And it's the, the shade name was Natural. And usually when I get foundations, it'll say, you know, light or something along those lines. But yeah, this is called Natural, and that's... A really, really good match. Wow. All right, let's do a... I like to usually do like one pump for one side and one pump for the other. Wow, that is such a good shade match. 
I'm shocked. I haven't used this in a while. So I forgot what a great match that is. Now this is a matte foundation, so gonna have to be careful how much powder I use. And I definitely don't want to forget my setting spray today if I'm going to use a matte foundation with a powder. Because sometimes I'll film videos and then I get to the end and I'm like, oh, I forgot to put the setting spray on. And it definitely makes a difference in how your makeup looks. Yeah, that is a perfect match. Oh my gosh. And I bought this at Family Dollar, which I, I need to go in there more often um, because I do enjoy shopping from like the regular line of LA colors. They have it at, L, at Family Dollar and Dollar General. You know, it's different than the stuff that they sell at Dollar Tree. Bigger containers and different formulas and colors. All right, so next is going to be, yeah, powder. And I don't think I have an LA Colors powder. I don't. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 05 Fair. So there's a little bit of powder in the thing already. So, yeah, let's just use what's in there because I really don't want to use a ton of powder with this matte foundation. So I'm just going to take what's left in the chamber here. Hopefully that will be enough. should be just enough. Yeah, that'll work. Just barely enough. Okay. And my Elf Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines with the Putty Blush Brush. Just do the perimeter of my face. And then I do a little contour, just a little. This just melts into your skin. It's wonderful. It's so easy. Okay, and for blush today, let's try out the blush brush. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost and Icy Execution because this color is going to coordinate nicely with the other things that I picked out. And I got this in my Halloween mystery box. So it was special to that box. And what it is, is it's a highlighting brush, blush. So I like to go in in this area that doesn't have a lot of the red because otherwise it's too red. So this is a blush highlighter hybrid. So see it just gives you well if you if you concentrate your brush in that area that doesn't have a lot of red you can stick your brush in one of the red patches and 
I wish he would make this part of his permanent line so that people that didn't get the mystery box could get it. That's good. Good. Okay, and the brush worked out okay. Great. All right, so I am going to start with the highlight shade. I've been doing that lately, and I don't know, I like doing that. I used to always do it at the very end, but I don't know. It's fun to switch it up and do things differently. And what did I forget? I forgot to do my brows. I like to do my brows first so that then the eyeshadow doesn't look weird. So let us grab the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil, which is just a brow wax. And just run that over my brows. Mac Omega eyeshadow. So easy. And you might be thinking, oh, a pencil's even easier. Yeah, but a pencil in the color that I want. It's not that easy to find. I can never seem to get a perfect match color-wise. And this is good for me color-wise. And I feel like it just looks very natural. And that was easy to do. That was just as easy as using a pencil. It's not uh, sticking to this inner part. This is where I, I definitely need to focus on. There we go. And now I'm looking at the other side. All right, got it. Okay, back to the eyeshadow. So we did the highlight. Gotta grab my nail file. So let's go into that brown. Now this has, I think, a little bit of shimmer to it, so Hmm, this should be interesting, putting that in the crease. You know what I didn't do before? I didn't um, put any powder on my eye area, and it does make it a little bit easier to blend the eyeshadows like I was showing you in yesterday's video, but these shadows aren't crazy pigmented, so it should be fine. I should be able to do it, in other words, without the powder. So we're just going to take this um, Lacura brush that came with one of my Lacura palettes. And let's start way in the outer part here to get an idea of just how pigmented this is. Okay, it's not crazy pigmented, so it should be fine. And 
And I'm going to put some of this in the outer part of my lid and blend that in and work it into this whole corner. And then pull it more into the crease. But don't go in until you've got the bulk of the product off the brush. Otherwise, it's going to look crazy if the entire crease is that depth of brown. All right, and I'm going to pick up a little bit more and try to get this blank spot here to pick up some color. This whole outside corner of my eye always requires so much blending. But you've got to have the patience to do it, otherwise it's not going to look good. How's that? Is that even? Yes, I think it is. All right. Next, we're going to go in to that shade in the middle of this block, which is just a shimmery gold and I like using my finger for my shimmery. Hello, this is me from the future. So somehow I lost part of my footage there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clip in now of me doing the eyeliner and mascara on the second eye because somehow I lost it from the first eye. Um, I used the e.l.f lock on liner and brow cream in the shade espresso on my waterline and then i used this la colors mascara volumizing and lengthening from dollar tree um crystal from reading and retail showed using this in a video the other day and i was watching her put it on and i was like oh my god that looks so good so i'm gonna insert the clip from when I did the second eye with those two products because I don't know what happened. Somehow I must have shut the camera off when I was filming the part from the first eye. So we'll put that in here.
Yeah, sorry about that. So technical difficulties are just part of filming, and there isn't any way that I can retrieve that footage, so I figured it wouldn't make that much difference to put in the footage from the second eye. Okay, so yes, I am very impressed with this mascara, and the um, liner worked out good, too. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on from that catastrophe. Um, all right, so what is next? So next is lips, of course. So we're going to use e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in Red Receipt to start the lip. Cream Glide is a good description of these lip liners. They are not dry and draggy at all. And I think, do I want to fill in? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Because I'm not using a separate bullet lipstick today. All right, that's good. Okay, so um, here it is. <laughs> so the Elf Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen in the shade Red My Mind. And when you take the cap off of these, it shows you the color more fully. I have not used this one yet. So we're gonna be finding out together how this is and don't click it up more than what you are going to use because you can't get it back down. Very moisturizing. Decent color payoff. Very plumping and tingly. but it's a cool mint kind of tingle, not a fiery, painful plumping. And that to me makes a world of difference. It feels very heavy and thick on the lips. So it's gonna to cling to that pencil really nicely. So what do you think? I think that the classic eye was a good choice for the true red lip. And um, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about any of these things that I tried out. Even the brushes worked fine. I mean, they're $1.25 a piece, so you, they're not like the best brushes that I own, but they did the job. And uh, I like the foundation that is a perfect shade match for me. But yeah, um, happy with this particular Maybelline shadow block. I have all of them except the one now. And the one that I don't have, I probably am not going to get because Christine from Mountain Witch Christine used the one that I don't have and she struggled with it and had all kinds of issues. So I'm not going to bother to get that last one because maybe something is off on the formula on that one. But um, yeah, I'm happy with everything. The mascara was a shock that, that it worked that well. Let me look up so you can see the mascara because for $1.25, that is a good mascara. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.